In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use school.com to host your course or host a community. I've been using school myself for a year now and I've been able to build a six figure course business by hosting my program on school.com. So this entire tutorial will be coming from someone that has actually been using it and has actually been very successful with that as well. I'm going to show you all the features and everything you want to know. So buckle up and let's dive right in. But before I do that, I do want to let you know that there will be a link in the description down below, which allows you to get started with a 14 day free trial so that you can see whether you like this or not. Starting off on the platform, this is what school.com looks like. Now, right at the bat, you can see it's pretty minimalistic, but it does the job. Compared to Facebook groups or any other platform, this is very user friendly and is easy to use. Right now, I want to show you all the features, starting off with the community tab. Now, community is very, very important on school.com. It's one of the main selling points, and they've made that very clear. Now, on the community tab, you can basically post comments like you would on Facebook groups or YouTube videos. Basically, this is where your community can speak about whatever it is that your course or your program or your community is about. So you can ask questions, you can make posts. This basically works like a Facebook group. I'll demonstrate how this works. Right there, you'll see write something and then there you go. So, for example, let's say that I've had a fantastic day on my YouTube channel. What I can do is write a post. YouTube all time high, for example. That's the title that you can then give it. Your community members can then write something right there. They can add attachments, they can add links, they can add YouTube videos, add polls, emojis, GIFs. And they can also select a category. So as you can see, YouTube automation, connect, results. We've got different things lined up so that they can place it in that specific part of the community so that when you want to connect with people, you can go to that part of the community and connect. If you just want to see results, you go here and you can see results. So that is basically how the community tab works. Pretty straightforward. If you as one of the members of the community or the host of the course want to reply to that, you simply click and then right there, you can leave a comment with once again, attachments, links, YouTube videos, everything else, or you can simply write your answer right here then click comment and that will then be done. So the community tab is extremely user friendly and pretty straightforward to use. Then we've got the classroom. Now this is where you can host your video content. As you can see, I've got a few courses lined up in my community. We've got the start here, which basically goes over where people can start and how they can learn the best way possible. Then I've got my YouTube search automation course, which is one of the programs that I sell, as well as the search affiliate course, as well as a few more. So this is where you can host your course. Let me quickly show you the interface when you host your course. This is what it looks like. Once again, pretty clean, pretty straightforward. On the left hand side, you've got your modules and then within the modules, you've got your lessons. So I've got module one, which in my case is called the fundamental phase. And then I've got lesson number one, understanding the format. Now, this is just my program, whatever you want to decide for your titles, everything else, you can do that through school. So this is what it looks like. You can display this in 1080p. They've got the feature where you can speed up the video as well, which is pretty straightforward. You can place it in full screen. All of this is fantastic. And this definitely is one of the best platforms to host your video programs for your community because it's extremely easy to follow these videos, go to the next one, find stuff back, which I'll show you in a bit with the search function. It's extremely convenient. So as you can see, I've then got my entire program lined up right here in this classroom. And that is how that goes. Now, in order to add all of these videos, here's what you need to do. So you need to go to classroom. You can then click on new course. You can then give this a name description and you can actually create it because this is my actual company. I'm not going to create one now, but I'll show you how you can customize it by going to one of the current ones that I already have set up. But note that you can set it up right here, click on add, it will then be created. After it's created, it will show up right here. For example, if I click on this one, in order to add content to this specific course, you click on these three dots right here. You can then click on edit course if you want to change something. But what you want to do is click add module, just like that. It then says new module. You can then click on this pen icon so that you can change the name. For example, if this module is called test one, two, three, just making this up, you can then add that right there and you can upload your video right here. You can click on that. And then as you can see, you can provide them with a link through YouTube, Vimeo, Loom, or a Wistia video link. 
I myself, I've been using Vimeo, which is pretty professional and it gets the job done. So you can simply insert the link right here, click on add and it will then appear. Just to demonstrate that, I'm gonna paste a YouTube link right now, click on add, then as you can see, it will indeed show up in your course inside school.com. You can then also add a description right here. So if you need to insert any links so that your course members, so that your course members can go to a website or any other resources that you might wanna give them, you can do so by adding a link here or simply adding images, attachments, or whatever it is that you might wanna add. Click on save and then there you go. This will then be added. As you can see, it then shows up right here. This is a new module. As you can see, it then shows up right here. Now that's a new module. If we then wanna add a set, you can simply click right here. Once again, we'll give it a test name. Click on add. As you can see, it then shows up right there. Now, if you wanna add videos underneath this specific chapter, you can click right there on the three dots. And then what you can do is simply click on change set right there. So we now have this video right there, which is called Yuri interview. Now, as you can see, it is currently set like this. What if I wanna place this underneath a different chapter? I simply click on the three dots. I click on change set, so that they call it sets and click on video content, click save. Then as you can see, I've just placed it under the video content set, which is pretty fantastic. As you can see, that's exactly what we've done with coaching calls in the program, which you can see right here. And that's how I arrange the entire course that I'm selling right here. So you can simply insert the videos and then click right there if you wanna change the set place it under the chapter that you would like it to be at, and then you're done. So that's it when it comes to the classroom and hosting your video content. Honestly, this is extremely easy to use for you as a host, as well as for your members, which is fantastic. Moving on, we've got the calendar tab. Now this one, I like a lot. How this works is that you can place any events that are upcoming in the calendar. For example, in my community, we've got weekly Q&A calls on Wednesday, which you can see are on schedule right here. Now this is fantastic if you're hosting a community where you're doing calls or you've got a course with coaching included because most platforms don't have this or they have it but it's very hard to find. You have to go here and there and click here and there to figure out when the coaching calls are happening. On school.com you simply go to calendar and you can add them. For example, if I need to add a call or whatever it is on let's say Friday, I click on the settings I click on add event, I then give it a title, for example, coaching call, just like that. I can then select the date, the time, the duration. I can add a description about what's happening and I click on add and then there you go. That is how easy that is. You can also choose to remind members by email one day before the event so that you can make sure that a lot of people show up. This is a feature that's extremely underrated that a lot of other companies like school.com do not have. So school.com is definitely great for that. Then we've got members. Now this is simply where you can see all of the members inside your school community. You can see their profile as well as their description. Pretty straightforward, not that interesting. And then we've got leaderboards. Now this is pretty cool because school.com has kind of introduced the gamification to these course hosting platforms. Basically what this is, is that they've introduced levels, which you can see right here, level one, two, three, and that continues to go on. You can decide these yourself, so you can give the names to these levels yourself. And then people inside your community can move up the ranks and achieve the best rank possible. They also have a leaderboard, which you can see right here, leaderboard all time with all the activity that's been going on and this is based on how active someone is inside a community. Overall, that's a pretty cool feature. In case you wanna start multiple communities on school.com, they've made it really easy to switch from one to the other. You don't need to sign out and sign in with different credentials, anything like that. You simply click on the arrow, switch groups, and then you can switch your group. The same goes for your members. They don't need to sign out and sign in, which is quite the hassle. They can simply click on that button and then switch the group. Then all that's left is the chat function, which you have right there, works similar to Facebook Messenger. You've got notifications and you've got profile settings, which you can do right here. So you can go to your own profile and take a look as well as go to settings right here. And then you've got your account, password, notifications, and the other features that I've already shown you. It costs around $99 per month to host your community, which I'm extremely grateful for. If I compare that to other platforms like Kajabi and others, I have to pay much more money and I don't get the usability that school.com has. They also have a 14 day free trial, which you can use by clicking on the link in the description down below in case you're interested in starting your own community here on school.
If there's anything you would like to ask me about School.com, simply let me know in the comment section down below. If you want more resources such as my full review video, as well as a complete course on how to run your community within school, check out the links in the description down below. Leave a like on the video if this helped you out, and then I'll see you next time.